Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another project video. In this project, you're going to build decentralized distributed system where you will allow user to create tracking of their product so they can create the tracking, they can take the data of the tracking, they can complete the tracking and it's 100% responsive for all the devices. So this one is going to be a powerful application which you can add in your resume to get a Web3 job and this one is absolutely amazing to understand the fundamental of the smart contract and how you can deal with a real world distributed system which you can take it from the centralized to the decentralized platform. So let me give you a quick walk through that what you're going to build in this complete project so this is how the interface of this distribution dash system would look like we have the stables we have the services components so if you click on this complete shipment it will open up the pop-up so you can pass the address of the recipients who will receive the product it will pass the index and it will give you the data so i'll show you how it will look this is the get shipment this is the start shipment this is the user profile so these are the services we are providing now let's click on this and connect our wallet first so here i have to pass my credentials you have to pass your credential to connect your wallet so click on unlock and here we are logged into the application you can see the wallet address is displaying so already i have registered a couple of products so let's try to find out the data of that particular product so i'll provide this zero index and if i click on this get details i can able to get the data of that particular product so it will have the recipient it will have the sender it will have the pickup time delivery time distance price status and whether the amount is paid or not so that's also working fine you can see you will find all of these data about that particular product you can increase the index and you can chase go to the next product shipment data so you can click on this and the data will reflect so these are the indexes that are the unique id for each of the product you will create in this marketplace you can see you will have all of the data and this is how you can start the shipment so once you create the shipment you have to start the shipment so if i close this one and if i scroll down here you can see that this is the entire table we have so we have the sender we have the recipient we have the pickup we have the distance we have the price and here you will find all the product we have listed for a uh, supply chain you will find that some of them have the pending status delivery and in transmitted i'm going to simply change the status so before i do that let me show you that how you can add the product into the system so click on this add tracking it will open up this pop-up model and in that you have to provide the data you have to provide the recipient you have to provide the date and time you have to provide the distance and the price and you can provide more data it's totally up to you but i'll go with a simple approach so let me provide the date i'll close this one first thing i have to get the address of the recipient so i'll come back to the metamask wallet and i have to get the address grab that one come back to the account too and i'll click click on this add tracking paste the address of the recipients pick up the date 17 distance is going to be let's say 12 34 and i have to charge the price is going to be let's say 56 click on create shipment and here i have to make the transaction click on confirm and here we have completed the transaction and here you can see this is the latest transaction we have created it's working absolutely fine now what i want i want to change the status so right now the status is pending but I want to initialize the transaction means the product is out for delivery. So that's the changes I have to do. So come here. Here, first thing we have to do is let's get the data. So let's click on this and click on this. And this is the, you can see on the ninth index, we have the entire data of the product we have created. Looks fine. Now we have to change the status. So we have to start the shipment. So we have to provide the recipient address and we have to provide the ID nine. Click on this get details and it will make a transaction click confirm and here the transaction went through and you can see the products is out for shipment in transmitter it's also working fine now what i want to do is i want to complete the shipment so for completing the shipment you have to call this function provide the recipient address provide the id 9 and click on this change status or you can call it complete shipment interacting with the smart contract click on confirm and here we have done the transaction and you can see the product is delivered and we have the timestamps this time we have updated the product so everything is working fine everything is working fine you can see it's 100 percent responsive for the mobile device as well so this is how it's going to look on a mobile device we have this one you can open on and you can open the form you can simply slide to this entire data that looks absolutely fine and we can come down we can click on this component click on this click on this and you will have all the start shipment. This is the profile section we have. Looks pretty good. 
So everything is working fine. You can see everything is 100% responsive for all the devices. And this one is amazing project which you can include in your portfolio. So let's click on this. You can see it's 100% responsive, very flexible. That looks absolutely amazing. So that's the overview of the app which you are about to build in the next couple of hours. And I will provide you the startup file so you guys can download the startup file in that. I have given you the folder and file structure which you don't need to create. And I have also provided you the assets which I have used like images, icons. So all of the things which you will download from the website. 